Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Courtney and I'm not going to hold you guys with a long intro because I know you clicked on this video to find out how to clean your white rug. So I have a 5x8 rug. I got it from Amazon. I checked and they no longer sell it but I found a rug that's kind of similar to it so I will link it down below for you guys. But it's 5x8. It's my living room rug and I've had it for almost two years. I'm about a month shy of two years. I love it. Everybody said I was so crazy for getting a white rug, but I had to have it. It was the only thing that matched with my living room. So just to give you a little background, I don't have any kids. I don't have any pets. Um, I have visitors that come, but no like crazy wild parties or anything. Nobody's like spill any wine or anything crazy on the rug. The area that I put my feet in the most on the rug was starting to get kind of like dingy looking. My feet are clean, but <laughs> the oil from like your skin gets on the rug and you know, it's just been two years, you know, little stuff like that. My friends come over, they got kids, you know, their kids will drop like Cheerios in the rug, stuff like that. So for the past two years, I've just been taking the rug outside and shaking it really good to get any like loose hair or anything like that out of the rug but I haven't cleaned it so I've been all over the internet TikTok, everywhere trying to figure out how do you clean a large white rug like a rug with long hair like not something you can vacuum I cannot vacuum this rug so I was just struggling to find any video of somebody cleaning a large white fur rug so I couldn't find it but I hope you guys find this video if you are in the same situation as me so you can clean your white rug I just want to give you a little background um, so if your situation matches my situation let's clean this rug all right so here's my rug so you can tell in the middle of the rug it's been covered by my coffee table so it's probably the cleanest part of the rug and then around the edges is where it's pretty dirty so first things first, I had to take the rug outside and shake it. I had my dad help me. He holds one and I hold the other because this rug is heavy. So we shake the rug really good outside, let any loose hair, any, you know, particles, whatever, fall out of the rug. I brought it back inside and I got some OxyClean spray. So I sprayed it on the areas of my rug that were really, really bad. I have a coffee table in the middle of my rug. So that little area where the coffee table has been sitting is really, really bright white. And then all around the edges of the rug have that like dingy looking color. So um, around the edges of the rug, I sprayed it really good with OxyClean to kind of lift some of that dirt out. I honestly don't know if the OxyClean spray did anything. So if I could go back, I would say it wouldn't hurt if you skip that step. I let it sit overnight. And then the next day I took the rug to the laundromat. Yes, I put it in the big boy washer machine, the biggest machine I could find, threw the whole rug in there. When I first put the rug into the washer machine, I was so nervous because it was a little tight in there and I was like, dang, I don't know if this machine is big enough for my rug. But as soon as it got in there and the water started coming on and all of the chemicals, the rug just kind of shrunk down. And I think I have a video of it. I'll include it so you can see how tiny my rug looks in this big washer machine. filled it up with fabric softener. Do not use detergent on your rug because it's gonna tangle the hairs. So I put some fabric softener, put some bleach, and then I also used the powder OxyClean. I dumped that in there also, not directly on the rug, but into the little, you know, the hole where you can put all your detergent and chemicals. So I dumped the powder in there, set the washer machine at the laundromat. It was good. It went for a good 30 minutes or so. When it was done, you could tell as soon as I opened the washing machine how white it was. So that's all you need, guys. Bleach, powder OxyClean, and fabric softener. 
did not put the rug in the dryer because again, I was trying my hardest not to like tangle the rug up. I took it to my parents' house and laid it outside. They have a big back patio. So I laid it out there and let it get some sun, let it air dry. I brushed through it since it had been tumbling around in the washing machine. I brushed through it really, really good to get any like knots or anything out. Honestly, it didn't really have any knots. It just kind of helped fluff it back up. I got a cat brush. Very important, you guys need a cat brush for a rug like this. So I let the rug sit outside on the covered patio for a good 24 hours or so, so that it could dry really, really well. And when I tell you this rug is so soft and it was so bright white, I don't even know if you can tell on video how white my rug is. and it's so soft like everybody that's came over since is like this rug is so soft like it feels like a cloud and it does the fabric softener <laughs> do not buy cheap fabric softener for your rug get a nice good fabric softener but it feels like a cloud it didn't even feel like this when i first bought it so it's so fluffy it's so white it's so soft it did not tangle it did really good don't be afraid to take your rug to a actual laundromat. I was gonna have a local carpet cleaning service come out and clean my rug professionally, and they were gonna charge me over $150 to clean it. And this probably took $20 for like the chemical and like, you know, the money for the machine. But other than that, that's it. I'm so happy with my outcome. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below and good luck with your rug. I hope you can bring it back to life. And thank you for watching. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Why not subscribe and come back for more helpful tips? <laughs> Bye.